the largest and most capable climatic chamber in the entire world, doing sand, rain, any kind of climatic testing you can think of besides lightning and tornadoes. We can handle it all. It is the largest commercial aircraft that we've brought in here. This is the control room. These are the people maintaining the conditions inside the various chambers in this facility. This is the first time for Airbus that we are coming here. We have decided to bring this aircraft here almost three years ago to test the aircraft at minus 40 degrees Celsius and up to plus 45 degrees Celsius. So the first big step is to enter the aircraft into the hangar. We could have entered the aircraft with the winglets, but as the clearances are about 20 centimeters on each side, we have decided to remove the winglets. We are going to run the engines in a closed facility, so everything has to be secure. So the gas collector behind the engine is to uh, duct out the hot gases so that the chamber does not warm up when we are at minus 40 degrees Celsius. to the hot part. So it was plus 45 degrees. We did that for two days. The checks were done for the engines, for the air conditioning, for all the various systems, such as the hydraulics, for the electrics. Basically, all systems can suffer from the heat. So for the hot and humid, it was mainly the air conditioning. And we wanted basically to check that there is no adverse effect due to this very high humidity mainly a condensation, and everything uh, went very well. La mer est belle hein, ce matin. T'as vu des dauphins Ça y est, on prépare la plage, hein. c'est parti. Euh, la voiture... Euh... Ah oui, elle est là-bas. Notre avion, MSN2, il est dédié à la cabine, donc... Euh... Une grosse partie des essais qui doit être faits euh, sont faits au sol, puisque euh, on cherche essentiellement à valider la climatisation, les, les débits, pour voir si, euh, avec euh, des situations dégradées, on arrive quand même à chauffer ou refroidir une cabine euh, pour pouvoir préparer un embarquement. Avec euh, ce laboratoire, on a la capacité de demander la température que l'on désire. Et dans ce cas, on a fait euh, des températures très chaudes, plus 45 et humides, que l'on trouve euh, dans certains coins du monde. Et une fois qu'on a eu passé ces tests-là, eh bien, on est passé au temps froid et on a pu descendre la chambre de climatisation à, à moins 40. Ils sont tous à l'intérieur. For minus 40, the aircraft was dead, cold, completely powered down each time during the change of temperatures. So to wake up the aircraft is the, the key part. Je suis prêt pour la première batterie. Deux, un, top. For everybody, for an engine start on engine one, two, one, top. The other aspect is about like the fogging. We couldn't see the aircraft and we took care that people were walking always by two because you can get lost in this hangar. We really tested all the engines, APU, all the systems, all the cabin. 
The main purpose was to check also the capability to keep the water. So in parallel, we run other testing, such as behaviors of doors, behaviors of air conditioning. Considering the real condition campaigns, plus the ones in the climatic campaign, we are really covering all the conditions that uh, our aircraft will have to face once in service. It was a joy to work with the Airbus team. We have welders, electricians, machinists that have been doing their job for 30 years and they've told me they've really enjoyed working on this aircraft. It's really cool to see our facility get used to its limits. 